This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is for Pisces. I appreciate y'all, and thank you for being here. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. My Pisces, y'all showed a lot of love the last video. I appreciate the support. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. Let's see what's coming in for Pisces at this moment. Let's see what's coming in for Pisces. My name is D. Reader, the Mean All Tarot, for those of y'all that are new, and welcome to the Mean All channel, y'all. So, and always remember, Pisces, if you are wanting to see Pisces videos, these are donation-based, so make sure you send in for Pisces for those of you that are on TikTok and YouTube. We got the Page of Wands in reverse, so somebody could be dealing with Sagittarius, and we got the Empress facing forward. We got some Taurus energy, which pretty much indicates pregnancy, fertility, motherhood, you know, sensuality, nurturing, you know, creativity, beauty. So for a lot of y'all, I am seeing that you could be going through this energy right now. A lot of you are trying to pull yourself out of this energy. And then we also got patience in reverse. So we got the six of pentacles in reverse. So we got dull failure, overspending, Depth, laziness, and underqualification. So, this is what a lot of y'all are going through right now. And then we also have, okay, with a Six of Pentacles and a Nine of Pentacles in reverse, somebody's definitely experienced some type of financial loss. You could have lost the car. You could have lost your apartment. You could have lost your job. But guess what, Pisces? Don't let this discourage you. We got some Virgo energy. Somebody could be dealing with a Virgo. We got more Virgo energy showing up here. So, we got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I'm with the Eight. Excuse me. So, yeah, this is like a lack of stability, like a lack of financial independence. My Pisces is are struggling financially right now. This is masculine and, you know, feminine energy showing up for you. And we also have the lover's card. So, we got some Gemini energy. And then we also got some Sagittarius energy in reverse. So, I'm getting for a lot of y'all right now at this moment. It's almost like it's your duty to... You know, rebrand yourself. It's your du duty to show yourself in a different light. And then we also got the chariot in reverse. So we got some cancer energy showing up for you, Pisces. And we got some more Virgo energy with the hermit. Okay, so for a lot of y'all in reverse, a lot of y'all are lonely right now. A lot of y'all feel like I'm going through all these battles financially, emotionally, spiritually. Like, when is it going to be my time? This is what a lot of my Pisces are saying right now. When is it going to be my moment? What just popped out? So, we got the chariot again. A lot of cancer energy showing up. Today, Pisces match is going to be cancer. So, they're telling you to stay still right now and just kind of go with the flow. And then we also have the three of clouds and the three of pawns. So, I do see you blending your energy with somebody else's. So, maybe this is like a collaboration for some of my Pisces. And then we also got the lover's card, which is some Gemini energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini right now. Some of you could be in a relationship with a Gemini. For those of my Pisces that are dealing with a Gemini, um, learning to understand each other is going to be huge. And we also got the Emperor, which is Aries. And we got the Two of Pawns. So for those of you that are dealing with an Aries, somebody has multiple options. I don't know if it's you, Pisces, you, Aries. Keep that in mind. Somebody does have multiple options here. So, you know, just, you know, keep that in mind. And we got the Ten of Pines, and we also have the Eight of Pines. So it looks like somebody feels like they're running out of time. We got a Pisces that feels like they're running out of time. We got a Pisces that feels like, regardless of what they're going through, even in the darkest moments, even in the darkest energies, they're always alone and feel like they just don't have anybody else to lean on. We got the Knight of Clouds, so we got Bursting in the Ace of Pines. We got one source, so it's like you're bursting into consciousness we are in september we're at the end of september so this is like your end of september beginning of october reading you know readings are a time of support so it doesn't matter when you watch this i don't care if this is 10 years from now if it resonates it resonates but we are at the end of september 2024 and we also have the queen of clouds compassion and we also have the seven of snow deceiving so somebody deceived you that's a big thing for a lot of my Pisces, too. A lot of y'all are feeling deceived by someone. A lot of y'all are feeling used by someone emotionally, spiritually, mentally, just all the way around. A lot of you are trying to figure out, okay, well, you know, what was your purpose of coming into my life? This is what a lot of my Pisces are saying. Okay, why were you sent into my life? What was the purpose of, you know, you being in my life? This person desires you. They could be sending you some type of prayer. Like, they're, they're praying for you. But my Pisces are like, I don't want everybody praying for me. 
I want somebody praying for me to actually mean me good. A lot of y'all are feeling pressure right now because of certain things you've been through, but you got to free yourself from this emotional baggage. And then we also got reduction and exchange. So for a lot of y'all right now, I do see you changing up your wardrobe. And it's not because you feel insecure or anything like that. I think it's to change up your imagery. And then we also got the getaway and we got try. So some of y'all just got a pet to a dog or a cat or something, you know, something to kind of keep you that emotional support. I guess it could be maybe spiritual, but some of you, this could be a spirit animal. And we also got untied tonight. So we got read an inspirational book. Um, that's something I actually need to do myself. Well, I'm actually going to be writing a book, y'all. So hopefully y'all be buying my book real soon. <laughs> Hopefully, y'all be buying my book real soon. And then we also got Holy Go to the Museum. And we also have Sincere. Write a text you like. Okay, so baby, this is writing your own story for a lot of my Pisces. Baby, this is writing your own book. Baby, this is telling your own truth. Nobody can tell your truth like you. Nobody can tell your story like you. And we also got Return to the Amaphrodite. So we got Temple, Birth, Goddess, Goddess. Goddess energy and treating it sacred. Somebody got 13 year old, and then we also have Atlantis. So we got rapid development, excellence, and success. Somebody got a 19 year old. So there is success in route of Pisces. There is abundance in route of Pisces, but you also got to trust the process. And then we got the mirror. So we got to note ourselves, self examination, and see who you really are. This is looking in the mirror and having that reality check with yourself. Somebody could be 21. Somebody could be 22. We got divine sensuality. So you know what? This is the universe telling you that some of you are in lust with somebody. Some of you are in lust with somebody. Somebody could be 34. We do got a pregnant Pisces. Congratulations. We do got a Pisces that um, also has been manifesting pregnancy. And we got the soul cage. So we got rescue, escape, compatibility, and restriction. Be real with yourself, Pisces. Know where you want to go. Know what you want to do. For those of my Pisces that are interested in a personal reading, my booking link is in my bio if you like to book in advance. If you're on YouTube and you like to book, the community board and the description will have details. But you can email me if you need you know, more than that. For those of you that are on YouTube, you can't inbox. And if y'all are wanting to continue to see content for Pisces, then don't forget to send in for Pisces, y'all. You know, that's how it's done. So, somebody could be, um, your angel numbers could be 33 or 55. What are the names of numbers for Pisces right now? So, 9-9, nine, nine. we got harmonized, let your light shine. This is no longer dimming your light. You were dimming your light for a while, Pisces, just to make others happy. 4-4 four, four is also going to be um, angel numbers for you staying grounded. Yeah, 4-4 four, four are definitely going to be the angel numbers. They're coming up twice. So, we got acts, listen, and allow. So, this is, you know, going into that hermit energy that we've seen and allowing the universe to show you something. And 5-5 five, five is also definitely going to be your angel numbers. We got a lot of masculine energy showing up for... Pisces, with unification and this masculine energy, a lot of y'all are going to be aligning with the masculine energy, especially for those of y'all that are manifesting the masculine energy back into your life. I do appreciate every single Pisces. Thank you.